I'm Dr. Logan Mentor. I'm a professor at uh, Shawnee State University. Where I grew up here in Pike County, uh, my family was involved in a lot of different activities, particularly my grandparents. I picked up on an early age that, you know, you could always make a place better. Um, and that was something that my, my grandmother especially always wanted to do. She uh, did a lot of stuff with the food pantry and homeless shelter here in the county, and my grandfather as well with litter prevention, and, and talked quite a bit about always trying to make things, you know, better where you live. And, and to me, that kind of stuck. I teach natural resources, environmental science courses, and that's something I talk about is that, you know, a lot of things are connected. Um, you can't separate, you know, humans from the environment. Growing locally and uh, the benefits that has and local food networks and things of that nature. And, you know, it kind of draws back to, uh, like I said, my even my days of my youth, volunteering with my grandmother at the food pantry and, and seeing how that need is, is certainly present. Um, and it's one way of addressing that is, is by revitalizing, reusing older areas. I'm currently working with a high school and elementary school there, putting up a greenhouse, um, really just trying to address that, that need with something that's already existent. Uh, we're using, um, in this case, school grounds that weren't, you know, really just kind of, they were just blank space in the architect's drawing for the school, uh, putting some infrastructure into place there that can be used to, uh, to grow food. So that way, um, the kids that are learning about this get really connected with where that comes from. I'm on the board of a, an organization called Portsmouth Connects. We promote health and wellness through outdoor activity. It also helps highlight the fact that we have a lot of what we call green infrastructure in the area, a lot of natural resources that are great for outdoor recreation, and that encourages tourism and also economic growth to our area, so we, we bring in people. I got involved in bicycling as a, as a kid, actually, um, largely because you know, my dad was a big cyclist, but it was an activity that I could do. I had some health issues as a kid, and a lot of things were tough for me, but cycling was something I could, I could do. And I recognized that's something that, that um, even a lot of kids in our area could use a little boost with. You know, I was fortunate, my dad kind of helped me out with that and um, got me started. So we do a lot of events uh, with, we give kids helmets, making sure they're safe out there. We check their bikes to make sure that they're in operating condition. Um, and, you know, it gets folks outside and it has, a, you know, again, a lot of benefits. So when I, when I found out I was nominated for the, the JNCO Award, I was, I was quite surprised. I like to stay busy and I like to give back and, and do things, um, but I didn't really expect to be recognized for it and anything of that nature. I think that's most people who do things uh, probably share the same kind of thought. Um, but it was quite a surprise and quite an honor um, to be recognized for, you know, being back here in Appalachia um, as well.